Well, you might have a big fat mortgage and a big fat interest rate to service that mortgage. I know I certainly do. But what if we told you that the money the bank lent you doesn't actually exist? You're paying interest on a loan that's been conjured up out of thin air. Sounds crazy. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking banks don't print money. The government prints the money. Or maybe the Reserve Bank prints the money. Well, that's what I thought too, but it turns out that we are all wrong. The banks create the loan out of nothing and then give you the money that they don't have. Don Richards and Sue Hamill, a normal Wellington couple who want that sort of lending to stop. But before we go then, let's get our heads around how this works. Let's pretend for a moment that I'm the bank and you want to buy a house that costs $500,000. So you'll need to give me $50,000 as a deposit. OK, so there's my deposit. So I need $450,000 from right. you. That's right. So where am I going to get the money from? I just go into... Because you obviously don't have it. No. That's okay. right. I just go into the computer, type in 450, hit enter. There's your money. There's $450,000. You've just made $450,000 out of absolutely nowhere. That's right. That's that right. I now have to pay interest on. That's right. Money that you don't have, never have had. That's right. And this, through, through home loans, this is how money is introduced into the system. Yes, that's right. But yeah. it feels a bit like a trick. Well, it is, really. We check the figures. Last year, this much new money appeared in the country. It's almost like a big Ponzi scheme. Did you just call yeah. banks a big Ponzi scheme? I said it's almost like a big Ponzi scheme. You're probably thinking there must be more to it. No? This is an international monetary fund document that backs up what we've just told you. See this? Banks are almost fully in control of the money creation process. If you want to read this for yourself, you can find it on our website. Still unconvinced? No, this is, uh, you know, this is what you learn in first year economics at university. Um, you know, this is how banks work and there is no sort of great mystery to it. Shama Bil Yaakov, economist. Quite surprised that we are, well, surprised. If you have faith that the money is there, then it all works. And that's what our system works on. It's based on faith that the institutions, the banks, the system that's in place, the rules and regulation protects us and that we won't go bankrupt and we will have our obligations paid. Exactly. So why should you care? Well, some say because banks can just keep producing money, it'll just keep driving up the price of our houses. And if we lose faith, you could lose all your money in the bank. 这是一瓶从新西兰南山买水商收集而来的新鲜空气All right, look, a couple of points here. First of all, uh, the government lending money interest free. That's never going to happen, because what else does the government do for us for free? Nothing. So forget that. That's not going to happen. But we've now reached a point where we have to make a decision as to whether the species is going to survive in anything like its current form of organization and social systems. Any sensible person right now would join an anti-capitalist organization. And, and you have to. Because otherwise we're going to have this con the continuation. And notice it's a continuation of all sorts of negative aspects. Now that's not a word I, world I want to live in. And if you want to live in it, be my guest. But you've got to start thinking. And what bothers me about academia is I don't see us debating and discussing. I don't have the solution. I don't I have think the I know solution. What the I think I know is. what the nature of the problem is. I don't is. have the solution. And unless we're prepared to have a very broad-based discussion that gets away from, you know, the normal kind of pablum you get in a political campaign and, you know, everything's going to be okay here next year if you vote for me, you know, it's crap. You should, you should, you should know it's crap and, 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 and say it is. And, and we have a duty, it seems to me, those of us who are academics and seriously involved in the world, to actually change our mode of thinking. 